A day in the life of the youngest family in the world. May we introduce, this here are Olivia and Cole from Idaho in the USA. The two teenagers were just 14 years old when they got together. And at first glance, the quarterback and cheerleader seemed perfectly normal. However, this is their young daughter, Loveland. Yes, you heard that right. Olivia and Cole already have a daughter. And while other 14-year-olds are just figuring out for themselves what they want their future to look like, the two students of the same age had to consider whether they actually wanted to bring a new life into the world. But the couple decided to keep the child and have been raising her together since then. How the three of them managed their everyday life and why Loveland turned the life of the two high school students upside down, you will find out today because we show you a day in the life of probably the youngest family in the world. It's going to be very interesting, so make sure you stay tuned here at Wonderlane. Oh, and write us in the comments if you would like to have children yourself one day, and what you think is the best age to have children. We're curious. But before we start with the daily life of the youngest family, we want to introduce you to the three in detail and explain how it came to the early pregnancy. As we just mentioned, Olivia and Cole met when they were just 14 years old. A friend set the cheerleader up with the football player, and they became a couple pretty quickly, much to the chagrin of Olivia's father, who was against the relationship from the very beginning. He believed his daughter was still too young to have a boyfriend. Olivia defied his dating ban, however, and she met up with Cole regularly after class. After a short time, the 14-year-old suddenly became very ill, and she had to stay in bed for a week. The reason was not food poisoning or a nasty flu. Instead, Olivia secretly took a pregnancy test and had the certainty that she was expecting a child. For the student who had just entered high school, it was an absolute shock. Cole also reacted in panic at first, but for the teenager, it was clear from the beginning that he would stand by his girlfriend, and the two decided to have the child together. Olivia's parents, however, were not so relaxed about the whole thing at first. Her mother, Gail, assured her of help from the beginning, but her father, Ryan, did not want to accept the pregnancy at first. He was not only angry at Olivia and Cole, but also at his wife, who had not stopped their relationship. Nevertheless, Ryan also eventually came to terms with the fact that he would soon be a grandpa, and the family decided that they would support Olivia and Cole in their new role as parents. To take the wind out of the sails of all the haters and inform all of their friends, the couple decided to announce the pregnancy online. They posted a picture and wrote that they were expecting a girl. Although they received a lot of support and congratulations, many friends and acquaintances turned away from the couple, and Olivia in particular received nasty comments. On February 6, 2020, Olivia finally gave birth to little Loveland. Here too, Cole stood by her side. While many other boys his age probably would have been overwhelmed by the whole situation, he took responsibility right from the start and even accompanied his girlfriend to the delivery room. Since then, little Loveland has really shaken up the daily lives of the two teenagers and their families. During the week, Cole lives with Olivia at her parents' house so that he can spend extra time with his daughter and his girlfriend. The three of them share Olivia's old nursery which they have furnished with a changing unit and a crib. While it was very practical to sleep together in one room in the early days, it is now getting too cramped in the small nursery. So the young parents dream of owning their own home one day. You'll find out later in this video how far along their plans already are. As mentioned earlier, the two are still students. And in fact, they haven't given up on their school careers despite having a baby. Instead, they get up very early every morning to get ready for high school. During last year's corona lockdown, the two participated in homeschooling for a few months, like many students around the world. But they have now returned to compulsory attendance. Cole and Olivia attend two different schools. And while they sit in class, Grandma Gail watches their young granddaughter. But before the teens leave for school, they also have to wake Loveland up and get her ready for the day. The two often do this together too. And while Cole heads off to school afterwards, Olivia dresses little Loveland. The now one-year-old has an extremely large selection of clothes, shoes, and accessories at her disposal, which many adults could envy. Olivia not only attaches great importance to a perfect appearance for herself, but she also wants her daughter to always be well-dressed. In this way, she probably wants to prove to herself, and also to others, that she can responsibly deal with her child, even as a teen mother. And just how interested she is in her daughter's well-being is also evident in the choice of meals she prepares fresh for Loveland every day. 
Instead of instant porridge or fruit from a jar, Olivia cooks every day with healthy ingredients such as avocados or coconut flour. She tries to avoid sugar as much as possible and uses bananas for sweetening instead. It is also important to her that she prepares the food herself and not her parents. After breakfast, Olivia also goes to school. Thanks to her understanding school principal, she only has to be there in person for one to two hours each day and can catch up on the rest of the class material online at home. This makes it easier for her to follow the school material and be there for her daughter at the same time. After lunch and a long nap for Loveland, Cole and Olivia take care of the shopping together. Although they still live in Olivia's parents' house, the two already take on many duties that would be unthinkable for other teenagers. And that includes the daily shopping. They earn most of the money for groceries, diapers, and clothes themselves. Cole works at a supermarket on the weekends, and the couple is also very successful on TikTok. Here, they now have over 1 million subscribers and share their everyday lives with their followers. While in the afternoon, most teenagers hang out together, go shopping, or play sports together, Cole and Olivia spend their afternoons with Loveland. The family does a lot together, and they go to the playground, the park, or the pool. Both say they don't miss their old life, and spending so much time with their child is the greatest thing for them. When they actually spend time without Loveland, they do what their peers like to do. They go out together, buy new clothes, and just have fun. But they also have that feeling when they cheer for Cole on the football field in the evening. The student is still the quarterback of his team, and Olivia often attends games with Loveland. The student openly shows that he is a so-called teen dad and openly celebrates his victories on the field together with his daughter. Comments from haters can no longer harm him because he is very proud of his little family. And that's what Cole and Olivia can really be. Although we don't want to encourage you at this point to start a family so early, and there are also many fates where the children of teen parents don't have such a good start in life. The two of them master their lives in an exemplary manner. Of course, they grew up very privileged and get a lot of support from their families, but they don't rest on that. They took on an extremely large responsibility at an early age and want to be the best parents for Loveland. In the meantime, the two have even managed to graduate without having skipped a single year of school. To top it all off, they've been able to save up so much money over the past few years that they were able to move into their first apartment together just a few weeks ago. The next step is their education. They both want to get a license as real estate agents and then start their own business. So now, they are really standing on their own feet. That's it for our video. Write us in the comments what you think of Cole and Olivia, and if you could imagine such a life. Otherwise, like this video if you enjoyed it, and see you next time, here at Wonderlane.